the Sparks LRR. Okay, like okay, the left most, but the closest one. Yeah. Got him. Tag him in the head. Oh, you're wild. One shot. Down him. Oh, you're nice. One kill. Stay in front of it. Yeah, same. He's right hit. there. Hit, hit, hit once. Got him. Most of the time. Guy right behind you. Hit him. Down. The Sparks is essentially a single shot sniper rifle, offering high damage at range, allowing you to kill other players in usually one to two hits at the cost of a slow reload time and the inability to put multiple shots at down range quickly. So as you can see, the Sparks unlocks at rank 25, uses long ammo, and uh, both heavy and standard melee do blunt damage, which I'm pretty sure all melee does. When you look at the stats over here, it's got high range, high damage, low rate of fire, about average control, low reload speed, low stealth, and average melee. It costs $249 to purchase on its own, so buying a hunter is going to be a more efficient way of getting it in general. Um, $250 bucks for a weapon is a little over half of what you can earn per game if you manage to find all the clues, find the boss layer, uh, and extract the bounty. That's four hundred and twenty-five dollars is what uh, you can earn in in a game. So two hundred fifty dollars can be pretty expensive. That's going to add up over time if you keep losing hunters. So let's compare it with the Winfield. I compared the Sparks and the Winfield as these are the first two rifles that you unlock in the game and are essentially polar opposite weapons. The Winfield being a repeating rifle, killing people with volume, usually in three to four shots compared to the Sparks, which is a precision power weapon, killing people in usually one, if not two shots. So when looking at the graph on the right here, you see the Sparks is represented by the white bar and the Winfield is represented by the red bar. The main differences between these weapons are the damage, range, control, and rate of fire. There is bullet damage drop off in this game, meaning the further away the target is when you hit them, the less damage your bullet is gonna do. That is what the range bar indicates. So the Sparks is going to hold greater damage at further range than the Winfield does. And in general, each bullet does vastly more damage than the Winfield will do. However, the Winfield has a much greater rate of fire, and it has less recoil and scope sway per shot. So this uh, here, guys, is pretty much my bread and butter loadout that I come into each game with. Uh, if I'm able to for uh, early to uh, mid level on your bloodline leveling um, once you get uh, some higher levels and get the carbiner unlocked and get the most unlocked uh, you may prefer to use those over the sparks as they still do higher damage in the wind field but uh, are able to uh, put uh, more shots down range quicker than the sparks is able to being it's a single shot weapon but um Early on, you're going to be dealing mostly uh, against people that have the Winfield, and if you're a good shot, even if someone hits you with the Winfield first, unless they hit you in the head, uh, typically it's going to take them several shots to down you, whereas with the Sparks, um, you're probably going to be able to down them first in just one or two shots. Um, and with this build in general, having the Sparks and the double barrel shotgun, this is going to offer you a high damage stopping power both at long range and close range. So if I have a Hunter with Quartermaster and I have a Sparks and I have the double barrel shotgun uh, available to me, this is what I come into each game with. And this is what I have the most success with uh, until later on when I get some, uh, some of the other weapons unlocked. Um, and then, as you can see, I come in with a couple of vitality shots. That's pretty much combat heals. Always bring a firebomb with me if I can to set uh, a downed teammate, or a downed enemy teammate, I should say, on fire. Um, and a med kit, and then knuckle dusters are, you know, the best early level uh, melee weapon you can have. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, what I come in with. So, what type of player should use the Sparks over the Winfield, or what type of player should use the Winfield over the Sparks early on until you get some other weapons unlocked? Well, that really kind of comes down to um, the, your shooting. You know, uh, do you have quick reaction times? Are you comfortable with how to lead in the game yet? Are you still struggling with, with leading at various ranges or not? Uh, you know, if you're comfortable with leading and you're finding you're hitting shots more often than you're missing, then I would say switch it to the Sparks, because you're probably going to, in general, have more success with killing people in the Sparks and staying alive uh, than you are at the Winfield, as it takes less hits with the Sparks to kill someone than it does with the Winfield. 
But if you're the type of player that's still struggling with that, you're still trying to find your aim, then having the ability to uh, shoot more rapidly uh, is probably going to benefit you more. But I would always encourage everyone to, you know, try, try out all the different weapons in the game and uh, practice with them. I mean, the only way you're going to get better is to practice. Uh, you're probably going to die, you know, a bit at first if you're not the greatest shooter. Uh, if you don't have the greatest aim or the greatest reaction time, but you're only going to get better if you practice. Um, so, yeah, just try it. Try what you think. Uh, you know, be honest with yourself about uh, your strengths and weaknesses, and um, that'll help you improve. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope this video uh, helps you guys out in uh, making some decisions about uh, your gunplay style. You know, uh, if you're struggling early on with the Winfield, maybe switch it up to the Sparks, or... If you're struggling with sparks, maybe stick it out with the Winfield for a little bit. But uh, again, I would always encourage you to, uh, you know, try it out, practice the different weapons, see uh, what you're more comfortable with, and uh, go with that. Um, hope this video helped you guys out. Um, if you enjoy the video, feel free to uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, you can feel free to uh, follow me on Twitter if you like at John Matrix sixty nine. Uh, it's the best way to know what's going on with me, my YouTube channel, my Twitch channel, when a new video is coming out. And uh, you can feel free to uh, follow me over on Twitch uh, at twitch.tv slash johnmatrix69. If you'd like to come over there and uh, check me out whenever I'm streaming, you know, feel free to say hello. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I was really hoping that barrel blow up sooner, but it did not. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Ah, he's fast, bro. I'm coming out to you, Shooting friend. Shooting north. Yeah, we gotta put him down fast. Come oh, down and then just peek up over. Oh, I'm on fire. Whoop, he's on you. I'm coming, I'm coming. Think I'm pulling aggro? I think so. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, now I'm on fire. That's bad. Oh, God. Fucking damn it, dude. I'm loading. I'm loading my gun. I might die here. I, I have half aggro. a health bar left. I have pulled aggro. I have pulled aggro. Got him, but I literally have like less than a quarter of a health bar. The rest is burnt.